So, call me. Huh? What do you think? I kept calling everyone that might know Troy. I talked to the guy who cut Jimmy Johnson's hair. Well, he didn't actually cut Jimmy Johnson's hair. He sort of shellacks it. Anyway, I told him I need to get a message to Troy. So he called Jimmy, and Jimmy called me right back and said that Troy was in Minneapolis right now speaking at a convention. So for the last three hours, I've been down there talking him into it. Once he heard my story, he was touched by how much it meant to me. Of course, I was kissing up like crazy. So, it's just as simple as that? Yeah. Oh, now all that's left to do is, you know, Troy's got to, uh, what well, you know. And then we take the cup into the fertility clinic, and then you and me go shopping for maternity clothes. What do you think, baby? Hayden, I think... You are completely out of your mind. This is, without a doubt, the stupidest thing you have ever done. I am appalled and insulted and shocked that you would do something like this. Did, did you see his two Super Bowl rings? <laughs> Maybe once a very long time ago, I would have believed that you were capable of doing something like this. But th that you would bring in th and that you would ask him to, and you didn't and, and you expect me to I, 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 <laughs> Honey, I did it for you. For me? You didn't even ask me. I know I didn't ask him. Jeez, that's Troy Hickman. <laughs> Is Hayden conceiving a child is the most intimate, personal, and important thing that you and I will ever do. How dare you do this without even discussing it with me first? I'm sorry I didn't discuss it with you, honey, but I got all excited when I thought this was the solution to our problem. I mean, okay, okay. Jeez, Christine, you're right. You're right. Hey, next time, I promise, I'll ask you first. I, I promise. Okay. Okay. So, now that we've got that out of the way, what do you think of my idea? First of all, you don't do something like this on the spur of the moment. The donor has to be tested. That can take months. Well, wait. Well, and second of all, I would never agree to this in a million years. Honey, I mean, I don't know what to do. I mean, it's the only thing I could, I could think of. I, I just wanted to give you the perfect baby. Hayden, I don't want a perfect baby. I want your baby. <laughs> really? Yes. Really. Look, look. I know how hard this has been for you. And if you don't want to keep doing this, then we won't try anymore. Well, Christine, you're the one that has to take the pregnancy test every month. Yeah. I can't stand to see you so disappointed. I mean, do you want to stop trying? No. Well, what if it never happens? Then it never happens. And that's... That is okay, too. If this is as big as our family ever gets, then I am still very, very lucky. I love you, Christine. Oh, I love you. <sighs> oh, what about Troy? <laughs> oh, God.
gosh. What am I going to tell him? It's hard enough to tell a guy you want his sperm. How do you tell him you don't want it? I think you better talk to him. Well, give me a minute. So, Troy, everything all right? Well, yeah. Uh, oh, gosh, I, I don't know how to say this, uh, but oh, you're going to have to sit this one out, Parge. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Well, my, my wife's got her heart set on the old man. <laughs> hey, Coach, I understand. Everybody wants Joe Montana. 